So we've got our Garmin Edge 810, we've got our smartphone, and we've also got a bike mount that we're going to put onto the bike with. We'll get rid of those for the minute and just have a look in there. So in the box, you've got the unit itself, and you've got the standard mount there as well, if you don't want to use the out front mount. Various bits of a charger that you can use. You've got a USB cable for connecting to your computer and for charging, uh, some manuals, and also a map CD. Uh, pre-programmed data card, sorry, that needs to go in the uh, in the unit itself. That's our card with all the maps on there. We've got 150k, all of Great Britain. Uh, it comes in a holder, actually. The actual dip, the actual card is a micro USB, which is in there. So if we just turn the edge unit over, there's two flaps here. One's got the USB port underneath. The other, the micro SD port. That card just flips in there and clicks. And you pop that down and seal it to make sure that it's protected from the elements. Okay, the first time we turn it on, it's going to ask us what units we want. I'm going to go for metric on 24 hour. A male. Forty years old. It's going to take me a while to get up to uh, race weight there. Not that heavy. So we can set up different things on here. There's bike profiles, activity profiles, and Bluetooth settings. The thing we want to check is how easy it is to connect this to our smartphone. So we're going to go straight into Bluetooth settings, go enable it, and then hit pair smartphone. And here is our smartphone. I've already downloaded the uh, Garmin Connect app. I'm going to need to sign into that. Let's turn Bluetooth on. See the Edge 810 there. It's telling me the pass key. So it's allowing me to pair. And then the Edge is telling me use the Garmin Connect mobile app to choose the connected features you want to use with this device. Okay, so I've arrived in the office and I can see on my on my app on my phone that it's logged the ride on there. So that's the ride, ten and a half kilometres into work. And now if I log into the Garmin Connect website, I should also be able to see that ride is automatically uploaded to the Connect website as well. So all the information about that ride is on there too. Uh, I haven't had a had to do anything there, it's just uploaded it straight away as soon as I press stop on the device. So, all good, all seems to work.